doing with the whole um, in your personal life with the, with the coronavirus and lockdown and filming at the moment? Oh my! Well, my personal life, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, we all, we stopped filming on the on the twenty third of March. We stopped as did the whole nation um, on the twenty third of March. So, um, you know, uh, we just had to wait around to see what had happened because a lot of things had happened in Yasmin's life that was supposed to carry on, and then suddenly mm -hmm. they were stopped. So, um, and for all of us, I suppose it's been the same thing. Lorna, you know, you, you, you're not allowed to see your friends, you're not allowed to see your family. And um, we stayed in Manchester for a while because it, was, it, it seemed to be safer here. Um, but I suppose the, the, the difficult thing was um, you had all this time on your hands and to think, and to, which was nice, and, 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 and at least we had each other, which a lot of people don't have. Um, but it was difficult not to see friends and um, we have relatives that are elderly and, and perhaps not very well. Mm. We also, um, um, hello, this is Trilby. Hi, sorry. I L Lorna, <laughs> Lorna was just asking what, what hi, we were Lorna. doing in, in, in lockdown and, and that personally. And, mm, yes. and I was just saying it was difficult not seeing friends. She's taller than me because she's sitting on her special cushion. <laughs> it's I like have to yeah. say that, but not in reality. Not in reality, <laughs> anyway. Uh, yes, yeah, so we're just talking about that and what, what did it mean for our personal life? Well, I, I suppose the thing is, would you agree to me that because of the profession we're in, we tend to spend a lot of time together. Yeah, don't we've we? been practicing this for 23 years. <laughs> um, yeah, it was a really strange time in that, you know, obviously there were terrible, terrible things happening, yeah. people all over the world. And yet the sense of peace, you know, to be able to actually press pause personally was the real relief that's true you know, that is true um, yeah. the, the fact that you know places weren't overcrowded the sky was clearer i mean i know a lot of people have spoken about this you know the impact of the environment it's been strange it? when you suddenly see an airplane overhead now yeah 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 and cars are so much more on the road there was that mm. time you know when you'd walk about and you'd go into this, the, the center of the town, for instance, and there was nothing there, and it was extraordinary. It was like some strange science fiction film, but it was so peaceful. And we were lucky because the weather was good as well, weren't yeah, we? So yeah. we could, and we had each other. So, mm -hmm. so that, that, was, that, was, that was great, really. That was good, wasn't it? <laughs> yes, not always, but yes, yes, most of the time. But anyway, you know, yeah. living. living well, I suppose, you know, the simplicity of just thinking, well, what am I going to cook tonight? And actually, what's in my cupboard? You know, why don't mm. I need that pack of lentils? That we've is... all learned to cook. <laughs> she's the cook. She's the cook, and she's vegan, and she still cooks meat for me. So that's very. Oh, good. that's nice. That's How long have you been together now? Uh, twenty-three years. Twenty-three years this August, mm. end of August. Yeah. yeah. So just over. Yeah. 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 And you got married. Yeah, we got married in uh, 2007. Yeah, we were civilly partnered. Yeah, civilly we, partnered. Yeah, yeah, we haven't upgraded yet. There's you know, an interesting debate about, I mean, you know, all of that. And, and the time. word marriage, I mean, I mean, it meant a lot to be civilly partnered because it gave us a lot of legal rights that, that heterosexual couples had. And so that was my main reason, I mean, to, to, to get that civil partnership because it protects both of us. You know, that in, in days gone by, we've all heard stories of, of families, you know, if one partner dies or, or something happens, you know, completely possessing everything that, that the couples have, have built together as a life. And so now, thank goodness, we were protected. And uh, a lot of our friends were getting married and uh, not, or getting civilly partnered, then marriage wasn't on the... But I, I haven't, as Toby says, we haven't upgraded, if that's the word, to marriage. Um, I, I feel as though we, are, we're, we have all the same rights, so I don't really understand. Uh, it's a personal thing, isn't it? Yeah. And obviously for yeah. a lot of people, and if you're religious, and you know, I mean, I, and, and also it was a hard fought thing. It mm -hmm. was a hard won thing, you know, and yeah. my reason, if we did ever upgrade, <laughs> would be to sort of honor that, you know, to actually, say wow you know a bit like women voting i mean it drives me nuts when women can't yeah. be able to vote i mean in my, struggle, you know. in my life in my partner i've been with mine 18 years yeah. and she um i don't have to worry about whether my family will keep her included in if anything should happen to me yeah 
I, I, I feel very safe about that. Because um, um, I know that they've been recently including her in all sort of important family issues. So I know going forward, but I, we all know that that doesn't happen across the board. No, exactly. We have to protect. No, I mean, we have to protect. Yeah, we have to be protected. And, and, and we know, I mean, that would happen, that would not happen with our families either, you know, and, and um, I think my father uh, welcomed you with open mm -hmm. arms and your mother at well, well, uh, welcomed me with open arms. In fact, both our parents, but uh, your father and my mother died soon after we met. And then our, then our parents, actually, my, my dad and, and your mum died within sort of, 18 days of each other, which was a terribly hard time. But while they were live, we spent a lot of time together and they got on really well. Um, and with your, with your I, I'm an only child, but with your sister-in-law and, and brother-in-law and your uncle and aunt. And yeah, it was, we didn't have any of those problems. But what I mean is there were those problems before the time that we were allowed to civilly partner or marriage or, yeah. or marry. And yeah. that, to, that, that was hard fought and won, so. Yeah, we have those rights now, which is brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So uh, how have you um, been getting on with the filming? And obviously it's a very unique way of filming um, at Corrie. Um, how difficult has it been? Well, you know, it's, 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 of course it's, it's difficult um, when you're dealing with certain situations where you would hug somebody or you need to be near someone. Um, uh, the storyline that's on a present um, with with the young boy dying and and and, mm -hmm. and Jane and and that story, um, <laughs> it's 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 hugely difficult. It's a wonderful storyline and they're wonderful in it and 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 and, but you have to use it. You have to give yourself as an actor a reason for not being able to be near. Now we are in a time time of COVID, so you might say that your reason is because you don't want to give that child yeah any and so you have to use it you have to deal you know at least we're carrying on we're managing to keep that this sort of iconic soap opera going and i think you, you know as actors we we have to we call it we have a thing called accept and build and that's what we're doing we're accepting we're accepting the situation and building from it and and you know we were talking the other day and we're so lucky both of us to still be working you know, you, you work at, at the RADA quite, quite a lot and I work at Corrie and both these institutions are trying to keep going, you know, and so we're very lucky in a profession um, that, that is devastated, actually. Many of my, our friends are, are unemployed, don't, don't have any future. Yeah. I mean, their futures have just been blasted. They're not the struggling, okay. yeah. so, so we're very lucky to be in this, in this relatively safe atmosphere and it's our job just to make keep going really i think for everybody i mean i i, I don't want to sound like sort of bodicea but i think i think you know that that cory cory is a very uh, um, a moral program i think it 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 it, it, it explores a lot of issues yeah it has and informs compass, people it has a moral it? compass I yeah. Think. yeah and that's something yeah. that's really so it's a responsibility yeah, especially you know. in these times and, and 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 it was invented by of course tony warren a gay man you know and yeah. we have we have yeah. gay characters in it and, mm -hmm. and and i think that's and it, it's a very inclusive you know mm. and we, we we they had me and they have lorna uh, uh, and uh, and the black family uh, oh. uh, uh, there so they've got they, they they're very inclusive about they try to they try as hard as they can to give a, a, a what what is it a diverse point of view about life and and well, it's about fair representation, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 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 So I think it's an important an honest representation. Yeah. And I, when it comes to representation, I, and I, this is where diversity really kicks in for everybody to be included. Is um, my my mother has um, vitiligo, which means that she has pigmentation yes. of the skin. Yes. Um, and as a white lady, that's quite rare, actually. But you found it really, Im and somebody came up on screen as a model, the famous model that's got Victor Ligo. Yes, she has. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh my God, they've got what well, I've got. And I was like, now you understand my, me and my partner when we go as a lesbian on the telly. 
Yeah. Oh, Megan, I know about that. You know, when I, I'm, I'm soon to be 65. And when I was growing up, there was, there were, there was no, there was no sort of peer group that was open enough. I remember seeing a film called The Loudest Whisper with Audrey Hepburn and Shirley MacLaine. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, it, or, or anything that you read, like D.H. Lawrence, The Fox, anything you read, it was always tragic at the end. You know, mm -hmm. it was one of the partners um, got killed and even Sister George, you know, which was an extraordinary thing. And, and, and it was the, 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 mm -hmm. the famous gay club then, which was called, what was it called now? A very famous gay club. Um, God, the name's escaped me mm -hmm. now. It was in the King's Road. And, and I, I, I lived near it. I remember about, I was about, gosh, 23. Um, I'd been doing this program called Angels and I, I managed to get myself a, a little studio flat and, and I walked down and went, Gateways it was called, down to Gateways in my best Liberty print dress, you know, heels, da 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 da, da. I went down there and they wouldn't let me in. I was about 11, they wouldn't let me in, they, they, they looked at me suspiciously because, mm -hmm. because I did, wasn't, didn't appear to be a member of a group that gay the gay women in that club yeah were, were when i first came out i had yeah. the same situation i walked in with a dress yeah um before i became more myself more butch but um yeah. they i was asked do you do you know this is a gay place i went yes <laughs> mm. <laughs> that's why i'm here <laughs> yeah but but i mean you know that's you, all changed yes that's yeah. changed and i don't blame them women. i mean they're trying to protect themselves as well because and it was you. A me, it was a dangerous, dangerous yeah. time for men. You know, the, the fact that Radcliffe Hall's book is called The Well of Loneliness kind of yes. sums it up, really. You know, My first just... book I ever read that was a lesbian book. We all had a little page <laughs> through that, didn't we? Oh, Radcliffe Hall. You know, it's not a stately home. It's actually a, a, a you know, a, a, a tome of suffering um, mm. to, to, to find yourself and to explain who you are to people. So, um, yes. Well, and actually, I think that goes beyond sexuality. Yeah. I mean, I think people can read that book and just, you know, connect to, to that longing that we have as human beings. You know, of course, it can be yeah. exacerbated if you're excluded mm. culturally, socially. But, but you, you know, know and, and it's, yeah. it's human. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and I, I don't know whether you mind me saying you, you had never had a relationship with a woman before you met me. Um, so it was, it was quite difficult when we were... Interesting, because I don't share that angst of being 14 and, you know, thinking I, I have to call a helpline. I didn't grow up with that. Mm. But when I, uh, you know, met and fell in love with Shelley, everybody was sort of trying to politicise me. Oh, well, how long have you known? Have oh. you come out? And I, no, actually, it's not like that. Um, so, you know, there are many shades of all of this, actually. And of course, that's when it gets quite nuanced and, you know, We do get very hung up on who um, our relationship status and who we are attracted to. And really, it's you fall in love with a person regardless yeah. of their gender. Yeah, or their I mean, but that's not to take away from those, you know, very strong sexual urges that do, you know, give especially teenagers a lot of grief if they're unable mm. to kind of. I mean, I'm in a place of privilege where I can go, yes, I just fell, you know, and mm. met fell in love with Shelley. So I wouldn't want to also take away the, the genuine struggle that people have because there's no heterosexual helpline, is there? I didn't at 14 go, hi, oh, you know, I think I'm heterosexual. Can you help me? <laughs> so, you know, uh, yeah, it's a, big, it, it's a big topic. It's a big conversation. And it's a universal conversation as well. It's about, it's about uh, this whole thing of diversity, you know, it's, it's, that's a part of it, you know, about gender. I, I, I just, I honestly believe in, in people. And I think that's the wonderful, one of the things about Corrie is whether it's a black family or a brown family or a, 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 a North, family from Northumberland or a Scots character, we're all people. We don't punch that thing in really. We try not to anyway, you know, we try to fight against that because I really believe that that is the way forward. You know, the, the, the division, division is wrong. Inclusion and support and oneness is the way that we should, or whatever, whatever our sexuality, our color, our religion, whatever that is, I believe that very, very strongly. So, uh, which actually brings me on to um, your own. How difficult has it been for you to be yourself culturally and personally? Have you had any barriers? And uh, culturally, that's that's quite interesting for me because 
because I'm Anglo-Indian. And that's something that a lot of people don't know about because Anglo-Indians are the sort of children of the British Empire. They're the bastard children of the British Empire. And they come from a community that, or, or, or a liaison that was once celebrated within the British Empire, you know, that of the Indian and the, and, and the European. Uh, and I, I went to a school though that was very mixed. It had Indians in it, and we, but we all learned in the, in the French way. So I was very surprised when I came to this country, aged 10, nearly 10, just for my 10th birthday, to suddenly, my father put me into what he thought was a very good school, suddenly to be called names and to be isolated. Mm. Um, so it, I, I, I mention all of this because, because somebody identified me in something that I couldn't, I couldn't identify myself. I wasn't that person. And then as I grew older, somebody wanted me to be again, somebody that I didn't, I wasn't. So I wasn't an heterosexual woman. I didn't, <laughs> all my life I've been struggling with both these sorts of um, image that people put on you, um, you know, yeah, and they're negative, aren't they? The thing about being angry, and especially after partition, was because they'd been the sort of poodles of the Raj, you know, they'd been the secretaries and done all the kind of clerical work. And then after independence, of course, the, you know, the Indians despised them and the British left. So mm -hmm. most Anglo Indians who could afford it just left. They went to Australia, Canada, the UK. Mm -hmm and but came to these countries thinking they were white or English uh, and had no idea that they would also then be kind of racially abused. And or, yeah, you, or, you, 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 unaccepted. I suppose you, but even though yeah. you had CETA as a sister-in-law, you were quite surprised when people spat at me in the streets and, yeah, and yeah, called me yeah, names yeah. and things yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, even though I started my career as, as a, 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 in, a, in a program called Angels, and I got my equity card because at that time in 1977, there was no, as it was then referred to, mixed race person on, in, in, in equity. So otherwise I would have had to have or, done- or Indian mixed race. Indian mixed race. Yeah. Black, yeah. Black, you know, yeah. Upper but, Caribbean mixed but what race. I, yeah. yeah. So, so that's why I got my equity card. And, and I have learned, and also I'm brought, I am Indian in my heart. You know, I've been brought up there. My grandfather loved the country. Da, 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 da. So, and, and as an actor, we're all put into little boxes and I was put into an Indian box because that's how I began. Yeah. I did a lot of theatre to get myself out of that box, but, but I don't mind because I love India. I, I truly do. And, and, you know, I, I made it my business to learn and, and a lot of my, most of my friends are from the Indian subcontinent and that means Pakistan and, and India, you know, and I learned to do things. I, I became... I became the character, I suppose, I know I've played Muslim characters, I've played Bengali characters, uh, everything, but I've never played an Anglo-Indian, which is rather strange to me, but uh, yes. there you are. So it's, oh, I tell you all this because it's, it's, it's I've, I've always felt an outsider, like many of us, I think, who are gay feel. So it didn't, it didn't come as a, I suppose I was able to cope with it in a way because I've always felt a bit odd and a bit outside <laughs> everything, in my youth anyway. I always felt life was a bit of a struggle, which it suddenly, it suddenly, when I was 40, well, I had my first relationship when I was in my late twenties, but I didn't have a relationship as I have now until I was 42 and, and you were 35, weren't you? No, 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 oh, I remember it well. No, no, I was 33. <laughs> 23. You were 42. Yeah, that's right. You see, I, I came out to my parents only after I met Trilby. And, and that was extraordinary because, you know, my, my, former, my, my former partner who we still get on really well with, really well, she and her partner, we really, we're very good friends. We call, ourselves, Abba. call Abba. ourselves Abba <laughs> because we're also <laughs> into, anyway. But, you know, we had the same bedroom and my mother used to say to Finn, my first partner, oh, you'll find a nice, nice man, both of you, one of these days. And you think, okay, okay. <laughs> Mine's yeah. almost like yeah. a dress, Laura. You can buy these, they're wonderful. Buy yeah. these guys, everybody buy. Look, look, look if you can see, but it's, yeah, I could wear it as a dress. <laughs> All day. Why not? Yeah, yeah no, no, you see. Love it. One, one side, one, one garment 
many, many, many different opportunities <laughs> to explore. You see, oh, really? you can cut it down a bit. You can make it like, oh, you know, wonderful. Anyway. Um, 